Right, so on this video we're going to be showing you how to change the uh, the heating element on a white knight tumble dryer. As you can see this is the white knight tumble dryer. Um, it's not black, it's blowing out cold air instead of hot air. Um, it's more than likely going to be the element. I've got the element off of uh, Amazon, I'll put a link to that below. Um, it's about 25 something pound. Um, that's going to save you what, £150 for the, uh, for the tumble dryer, so it's real simple. Um, like I say, the item will come like this, I'll show you around the back. This is the cover at the back, make sure it's unplugged and everything. Do all your safety checks, just make sure it's unplugged. This is going to be on like this. So when you turn the back round, it's going to be on like this. Um, that's going to be in there. That's your little reset for your heat. First of all, try that. Try pushing your little reset, because it can overheat and you can just reset it by pressing that. If you've tried that a few times, you've cleaned it out because that lint stuff can sometimes block up the heat. If you've cleaned it all out, you've tried your reset a, a couple of times and nothing's happening, it's more than likely the element. Um, i like say it's cheaper than buying a new tumble dryer. You can fix this yourself. It's really simple. So that's going to be on like that. And it's got about... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, It's got about 15 screws on the back. When you take that off, there's the screws. As it's downstairs in the laundry room. There's the screws, keep all them separate. Um, next you're gonna be faced with this. The element is under here. I think I can show you. There's the element. That's the heating element there. Um, that's the reset switch. This is how the element's connected. But you might get to this stage and think, oh, what am I gonna get that at? But it is pretty simple, all you're gonna need Phillips screwdriver, um, I've just got it on this because it's easier um, and to be honest you're going to need a little extension so if you've got a normal Phillips screwdriver you'll be able to reach them all but some of these are like tucked in and I can't get to it with this little, this little hand screwdriver so you are going to need a little element, uh, an element, you're going to need a little extension and all you're going to be doing is removing these little black screws here so there's one two three one in there four there's one tuck down there five and i think there's one under there so there's going to be six there's six or seven of these so just unscrew them so this is how the element will come from amazon the new one just check your model and everything but if you've got one of these white knights it's more than likely going to be going to be this one i say i will put a link to this below So this is your new element. So it's going to be screwed on with one screw there and two there. And that's your new element right there. These are the connectors that need to go here. It's only two. They're paired up. You've got uh, this red and black one here and you've got the blue one on the outside. Just remember where they are and just put them back the same place. So I'm going to do i unscrew this bit, pause it here, and then come back. So there was six of these little black screws. Right there. And when you take this off, this will just this will just hang loose. Just be careful, you don't want to snag your wires. Um, there also might be some lint and stuff around here that's just built up. You can clean all that off. While you're here, you might as well clean it. If you can clean down here, you might as well clean it, get a hoover on it, don't know, just pull it out. And then all you need to do, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to pull these off these bits off and then if you turn this round these are the three these are the three bolts so we've got one here one here or two there and one there and they will be match up with this two there <coughs> and one there also on me look at this look at this light it's quite handy you just leave it there and you can see what you're doing also got that on my f on f off Amazon. Turned up the same day. I thought I'd get a little light one there. Look at that. It's about 23 quid. I'll put a link on the bottom if anyone wants it. But here we go. So that's it. And that's, that's the element in there. So I'm going to unplug it from the thing. What I'm going to do. I'm going to pull these off. These, these will just pull off. And I'm going to unscrew the three bolts at the back. Here we go. The old element is out. This is the old one. Put that down to the side. There's a new one. 
there was three bolts the new three bolts which are there like I say just three screws at the back so simple so simple to do this and on the other side we had we had the three things that literally just pulled off so with the new one what you need to do what you can do also to make it a bit easier if you don't want to keep spinning this round you can unscrew here these two here at the side this will take the reset switch off slot in there it slides in there and this little bit sticks out like that just going to look like that I'm going to screw this in and put it back on so simple Like so, all tight. That is. So I've taken these off. So now, when you've got this back in place. What I like to do is just put, line it up, just put one of these screws in to hold it. You've got it semi in place, now you can get your, your colour bits. Let's show this. So this is like this. If you want to give yourself some more slack, just move this. You can move this little uh, bag tie thing up, cable tie, whatever it's called. What you want, <clears throat> so you can have on this, you've got one with one pin, and then you've got the one closest to this part, it's got two. The back one's blue, then it's black, then it's red. So red, red the furthest back, black, blue. And they, these will just push on. So blue at the back. Just again, just make sure it is unplugged from the mains. I don't want anyone to be electrocuted. Blue there, blue at the back. These literally just slot on. That one there. And then the red at the back. Make sure they push down. We're done. We're, we're pretty much done. Now it's just putting the little screws back in. And there we go, we have every screw. Um, there is in fact one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, there's 17 screws on the back. Um, they're all in, everything sorted, your little reset thing can go in. Um, what I also did while I was here, because I was, I was giving it a bit of a, a clean, I'll just show you what I also did. While I was here, I thought I'd give it a, a, a bit of a clean and stuff. There's a little plate on the bottom, just like this. It just sits in, just sits like that. And there was like, there's like bits of lint around it. This stuff gets absolutely everywhere. Um, the motor is literally, let's put the light in there and show. So these, things, these things are really simple. Um, I'll tell you how handy this light is. So there's your motor. And there was just some lint around that, so I'll just just clean that up. There's a bit more there. I'm just gonna just like clean that up a bit. It's just gonna make it just getting all these bits out, it's just gonna make it last longer. You don't have to do this, this is nothing to do with the element. Um but for four screws, while you've got it, while you've got it all apart, you might as well, I think anyway. Um and this bit just screws back in like this. It was a two minute job to be honest, unscrew this, clean out some more of that lint stuff and hopefully this tumble dryer is going to last you a bit longer than it hoped. Also if you need to change the motor on these, um, which probably ain't financially worth it but if you've Want to change the motor? That's the panel you use to change the motor. Back off panel, and you can get to the motor. The motor is literally just just sat there. With them four screws there. That's the motor. So it's not actually that hard of a job to change that. But you're talking to them. They could be fifty odd quid for the motor when the tumble dryer's only. You can probably get one of these for a hundred odd quid. 150 maybe I think they were. Dog. Dog's come out. There we go, just to finish off the video. Got some clothing in it. Nice heat's coming out. And we're pretty much done. Literally the only tools I used was that screwdriver. That's all you need, um, to be honest. Like I say, the link to the element and the link to this light, if you want it, on Amazon. It does motion sensing and all this, this light. I'll also put it in the bottom, as it was used in this video, and link to the new element. All links below. Um, you might be wise, just a little tip. Get yourself like one of these little electric screwdriver things, because there's quite a lot of screws. Um, saves you undoing them all. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, like. Peace.